When you read Article 2, Section 4, it says that uh, there, first of all, has to be, well, it says, shall be removed from office on impeachment for and conviction of. In other words, before anybody can be impeached, there has got to be a conviction of that particular crime or misdemeanor first. Is that correct? Is that the process? Well, There's got to be the conviction first, then the impeachment can proceed? Well, that's what it looks like it's saying here, okay? And again, let me say this. Dave and I were talking about this a little bit last night, Brother Gary. Uh, when, when we use the word impeach, you know, I think the American public, as a general rule, thinks that if you've been impeached, you've been convicted. No, not at all. Uh, it, when impeachment is brought against the president, that does not mean he's guilty of anything. Right. That does not mean he is. In other words, uh, the, the Senate, where the impeachment trial would occur, uh, would actually convict him. Uh, of that charge that the House brought against him, but the impeachment, the term itself just means you've been accused of something. It does not mean uh, that you've been convicted. And again, I understand where you're going, uh, f- uh, going with this, but this is the way I take Section 4 of Article 2. In other words, you cannot be removed, okay, uh, unless you've been convicted of one of these crimes, treason, bribery, uh, another high crime, or a misdemeanor. In other words, yeah. you cannot be removed. Uh, you know, just the charge obviously is not enough to remove you. You have to be convicted, obviously. And actually, okay. the impeachment itself doesn't remove one from office, correct? No, no, absolutely not. Absolutely yeah, not. Yeah, Gary, that's the point I think Dan's making, and this mm-hmm. is where there is yeah. great mm-hmm. misunderstanding among the general public. Impeachment is the process that could lead to a conviction. Right. It is Correct. the accusation Correct. and then the moving toward a trial in the Senate that could result in a conviction. But the removal can only take place if conviction follows. So here again, let me read Article 2, Section 4. The president, vice president, and all civil officers of the United States shall be removed from office on impeachment for and conviction of, and then it lists the four things that they have to be impeached on the basis of and convicted of. So impeachment is not the removal itself. It is the process that could result in removal. Is that correct, Dan? That is correct, and Dave, you and, and Brother Gary, uh, all of us know that we have had two presidents who've gone through the process of impeachment. Andrew Johnson, of course, who was the successor to Abraham Lincoln, and then, of course, Bill Clinton. And neither man was uh, convicted. Both went through the process. In the case of Andrew Johnson, uh, the Senate failed by one vote of convicting him. Had they gotten one more vote, he would have been kicked out. Uh, but they did not get that two-thirds majority, which is required in the Senate, so he stayed on as president. Not a very effective one, but he stayed on as president. And in the case of Bill Clinton, if I remember uh, the, the totals in that, it was uh, 55 uh, people voted not to convict him and 45 voted to convict him. And of course, it would take 67 senators, two-thirds, to, you know, to kick a, kick a, uh, a president out. 